everybody and welcome back to the Salty Show and welcome back to our Hittite Kingdom Let's Play on Age of Bronze for Total War Rome 2 Episode 4. I hope you guys are doing well today. If you are, like and subscribe as always. If you want to support the channel, check out the membership below. But without further ado, everybody, in the last episode we finished off the Kaskin forces, but they've been replaced by a far stronger and potentially dangerous enemy, the uh, Hyusians. With our first battle awaiting us, we have managed to attack the Hyusian Ozzy near the Light Forest in Nedek. But without further ado, everyone, I'll see you guys on the battlefield. And welcome back, everybody, to the battlefield. So, little, <laughs> I'm glad I didn't start recording as soon as this uh, kicked off, as the AI has decided to corner camp. Um, <laughs> I've never actually seen the AI do it in such a fashion to where they will legitimately, they're legitimately camping a corner. But yeah, uh, I started all the way over here. I spawned down here. So I had to walk all the way here and all the way up here. And I finally found them on the highest point on the map, I guess. Which, kudos to the AI, I guess, for identifying this is the highest point. It definitely was no easy feat. Without that, let's get moving on. Disregarding the fact that the AI is corner camping. Let's take a look at their units. They do have some Luwian guardsmen. We haven't seen these guys yet. They look pretty badass. I love Bronze Age shields with like cow hides and things as such. They look very cool. And the armor itself, of course, but the shields, they, they look pretty cool. I don't know why, but they do to me. So we are going to be attacking uphill, unfortunately. I'm hoping, though, once we start slinging with them... They'll they'll start uh, throwing a fit, and obviously we're gonna take a flank with these swords on the right here, try and swoop them in. And it, I do appear to be right. Let's go ahead and move our boys around. Let's get our swords spreading out. Go ahead and halt, brace, and get them javelins going. Get those three in, these threes around. Let's get our general moving that way. Let's go ahead and hit the rear of these guys since they're so exposed. There we go. Yeah, start pelting them. Oh yeah, that's doing some significant damage. Let's actually target that unit there. Get around them. Their general is uh, not participating in the battle. Get a rear charge in there. Let's get our general. We do have a weakened general, so we want to be a little careful with that. Our javelins have done their work. Reducing their numbers. Let's go ahead and get our javelin, or our general in there. Hopefully he could handle that. And let's hit the rear of that unit. Um, their general is quite the uh, weakling, it appears. He does not want to get involved in this. We're lucky. He's lucky the rest of his men don't know where he's at. We are breaking this right unit here. Deep in the shrubs, fighting off the forces. Yeah, they're already running over here. Press the advantage. Actually, they're trying to run. These guys are holding off. The 
the sweeping flank is working. Let's get our general back down here. Some of our swordsmen have been in the fight for a bit now. Fighting has ensued. Their general is cowering in the corner over there. Uh, we're going to take you two. Try to deal with that guy. You guys give chase. Let's get our general. Let's get our general in here. Wreck their rear line. Break the mobs. Break what remains of them, anyways. Very nice. Quite the engagement. Let's do our best to make sure. Yeah, they're running. All right. Very nice. Get our swordsmen ready. And our spearmen, yeah, they're breaking. Uh, javelins really, really we don't need to get them involved too much, but we will anyways. I want to go ahead and get our general moving. Or our slinger is moving. Oh, shit. Oh, leave it. Hantilly, no, dude. He was the only chariot men to die. Well... Leave it to uh, leave it to me to make that type of blunder. We need a new general. This army is cursed. This army is most definitely cursed. That is truly unfortunate, man. Well, with the loss of our general, we're going to use these chariots to the best of our benefit. And their general is going to waver and break. And that is the end of the battle. Unfortunately, it did turn into a costly one at the very end of that. But I'll see you guys back on the campaign map. Well, welcome back, everybody. Uh, and uh, we must unfortunately choose a new general. Um, I'm truthfully thinking the general probably needs to stop being chariots, perhaps. That could save us uh, some costly problems, maybe, you think? Um... With that, we're going to pick the Mezidi Guardsmen to protect this general. And with that in mind, we are going to choose Paluara here. Because he's a part of the royal family. We are. Yes. Tis unfortunate. We we lost Han Tilly as well. He was a mem... He was... He is the second, potentially age 40, age six. Yeah, he was the firstborn son of Haraseki. Oh, man. We really got to tighten our... Uh, yeah, no more chariot generals for us. We, we've lost that privilege. <laughs> we've got one remaining true son, Paluara here, who's not married yet. We can make him commit suicide. That's real rough, buddy. Um, I'd really like you to seek a spouse, but you don't have, you have no, you have nothing. Wow. Um, there is a 4% risk. He has three regions. I'm assuming it's these, the three Kaskin region. All right. So that wasn't a bad battle though, disregarding the fact that we lost our general. Move in, finish off the rest of them. The army itself is uh, doing pretty good, and we are going to get during raid to public order. 
Um, then we're just gonna do the damage. And with that, our army looks rather depleted in some areas, mainly looking at the spearmen here. So let's go ahead and merge these forces all together. Let's just merge everybody. That'll leave us with a couple of weakened units that we can subsidize with more mercenaries. Uh, these Kaskian warriors are pretty decent. They're loads more expensive, but I think they'll probably be worth it. Um, we do have enough to get a oh, Anatolian. Well, let's make sure we don't need it anywhere else. I don't want the general to take attrition there, so we are going to put him in the port because they can't reach us. He's got 11 units, plus the garrison of eight. So he'll have, he'll have almost a full stack. Are there any mobs in this though? No, but there are militia. So perhaps we want to suffer the penalties of taking a little bit of attrition to get some forces here. Mainly we want defense. Bonus against infantry is zero. Melee defense is super high though. On these Kaskian light spears too. Um, we can only get one though. Compared, we could get a couple swordsmen. Um, yeah, we get two Anatolian, or yeah, two Anatolian swordsmen call a day, and you all will press the advantage on Hayasa. We want to make sure they're going to have 12 units. That is unfortunate, but we want to make sure we try to keep the pressure on them since we did defeat that army. Oh, Troy's brought a force out of nowhere. And they have come to take us out. Anatolian warriors. The king, chariots, two warriors, two levies, some mercenaries. Along with that, bringing in palace militia, palace guard, palladial spearmen, local bowmen, and another general. Let us quick save it already once. Let's do it again, and let's fight this battle, and let's get right into it. So we are heavily outnumbered, but I'm hoping on the defense we'll survive. And our king being besieged is not good. I did not see that Troy army there. And with them besieging us, they're going to get a... Unfortunately, they're going to get a turn of... Uh, get a turn of unfortunate problems, to be honest. This battle, though... Hmm. All right, so it's a plain open field. They've got a couple chariots. We're gonna need to be careful about that. I do apologize not having a cinematic intro to this one, but we are gonna just try to prepare. I don't think they're gonna be smart, but just in case our swordsmen are going the middle. We'll have the spearmen cover one flank. Antolian swords cover the other. Slingers get ready to move around them. General bolster that. Kaskian warriors, really good. Make sure. Right, the we haven't seen these guys yet, so let's take a look at them and start the battle. Looking rather strong, Mezidi guardsmen. Heavily armored. Look at them axes. Wow. Very cool. And then we have, we have Kaskian swords or uh, warriors. We've subjugated their tribes and now they fight for us. We're gonna speed it up. They do appear to be coming for us. A lot of mobs. Warriors, swordsmen, Antolian. I said we know they've got a stronger force. Here's the Hurdian spearmen. And there's these the Anatolian chariots. On our left flank. Now, granted, that's where our spearmen are. Let's go ahead and move our javelins over there, though, just in case. And 
let's spread our spearmen out just a little bit. And then we're going to try and be ready to pull our slingers back. They're not waiting for the reinforcements. That's the one thing we've got. Go ahead and hit them. Get a good sling or two off, maybe. Yeah, very nice. Alright. I don't know why I tried to deploy our boys before... Or in front of the uh, forces here. They never wait on us. Now they might use their chariots for reserve due to them being theoretically due to them being skirmisher chariots. Shields up. Shields up. Nope. Kill those chariots. Uh, you try to sling at the Hurrians. Alright, let's grab our axes. Get the guards in there. The chariots are suffering casualties very nice, very quickly, too. Get around them. Disengage. Please don't get caught up. Their chariots are dying and running. We're doing good. I don't like our general fighting, but... There we go. We don't really have time to just wait around, so... Break them where we can. Get in there. Yeah, very nice, very nice. Yeah, these guys are dropping like flies. Truthfully, this unit's not dropping as much as I would hope they would as fast. But... These guys are trying to move. Try to reform the lines just a little bit. Alright, we broke them. Guys, go ahead and get in there. Here comes their garrison. Hit a little lower. Throw a little lower, please. Hit right there. Alright, they're not waiting on us. Very nice. Let's actually get our Kaskians to hold this line up. Get one unit around. Target their forces. Truthfully, you guys could probably hit that and be unopposed. These mercenaries are holding way too long. If 
unfortunately our Caskians are suffering some casualties here against the militia. But we are getting into their size. Try to get us. All right, we don't want to lose anybody. Their main line is breaking. So are these guys, which is great. All right, you guys are gonna go in there because unfortunately, our spearman cannot deal with that. But we're breaking their militia. Charge into the rear of them. Very nice. Make sure we hit whatever we can. Alright, we've broken that unit, thankfully. The javelins is all we needed. Make sure they are completely broken. Slaughter everything you can that moves. Alright. Let's go help those mercenaries out. We're doing good. We're doing real good. They are, unfortunately... This... These brave warriors, they're fighting the general. Alright, we've broken most of their units here. Let's get our slingers down here. charge there. Thankfully our general is not taking too many casualties. But it is a uh, bloody affair indeed. Ooh, a good stab. Try to stop that charge, please. Murder the last little bit of skirmishes they had with a, a million rocks. We are breaking that unit very nice. Break the palace militia here. Let them have it. get our general down. Let's actually get him here. As soon as this unit breaks. Let's go ahead and target their Louis and Guardsmen. Yeah, they're going to cause a little bit of a mass rout there. Thanks to these couple of Anatolian warriors. general out of this engagement though you guys go for the place of guardsmen all right we broke them very nice slingers are making it rain on the enemy now Our general will hold off the palatial spearmen while we work on their generals. We finally got them in a little kill box, so fingers crossed. Pressure them. I don't want our general outnumbered, so... Uh, uh, actually, let's... Let's 
Would it hurt you to form up like this? The enemy general is dead. Come on. All right, we're mowing through what remains of this force. Yeah, get in there. Help your, help your general. If this general dies, yeah, they truly are cursed. This army truly is cursed, and no general will live to tell the tale. They do have some help, though, so we should be okay. As long as our general's not fighting, you know, in the rear somewhere. Yeah, we're pelting them pretty hard here. They are starting to waver. Actually get our boys over here. Down to 66. And there they go, they break. Slaughter anything that remains. And this army is defeated. It was a costly battle, but victory nonetheless. Let's kill the... We're going to slaughter what remains. Oh. Hello. So it looks like we've got a couple of... Uh, couple of leftovers. Oh, we've actually... <laughs> what have you been doing, sir? The King's Guard. What are you? A pretty hefty unit, honestly, that's gonna take some time to kill. But everybody, I'm not gonna make you all watch this one unit get slaughtered. I will see you on the campaign map. Welcome back, everybody, to that narrow victory. Indeed, we did take heavy casualties, losing more than half our force, but... We utterly decimated their army. And unfortunately, we're gonna have to. I think we're gonna release captives so that we can replenish our mercenaries. Our Hittite kingdom is relying heavily on mercenaries. Let's. Assassination plots hire bodyguards. Kishpua is under siege, which is extremely unfortunate. Uh, Aluamna has gained uh, untrustworthy. Interesting. Fingers crossed. This general actually gets above, you know, the last rank. But let us take Hayasa, hopefully. Yes, we get to take Hayasa. We are going to raise it to the ground. He's going to run. He can't recruit, at least. A lot of repair costs going on. Let's make sure they don't we don't see oh they've got a full stack right there wow okay this army is dead this army is so dead i mean not really but that's that's gonna be hard to take perhaps is there any way we could broker a peace no there is no way we can broker a peace they're defensive with uh, them Welcome, they are most definitely proving very worrisome. Meanwhile, in the north, Kishpua is under siege. And that Mycenaean... But Troy itself is also under siege. Okay. If y'all could take that, like, now, that would be great, friend. Because, yeah, we most definitely are not going to be able to hold against this, yeah, Trojan Warriors. And that's got our king in it. Oh, that sucks, man. That really sucks. Are we going to lose another king? Probably. We are probably going to lose another king. Because even if the Trojans fall, which they might... We're going to deal with the Mycenaeans right afterwards. I doubt we're going to have a time to repair. And meanwhile, this army is uh, Antolian warriors, a lot of levies, chariots, raiders. Inside a city, we might do better, but let's go ahead and do an edict. I, or we'll do a God King's Decree. 
truthfully, we should... Well, no, I bet this army would attack and that would force them out. So we're not gonna have any time. So let's just grab what we can, I guess. Which it's gonna be these Anatolian nobles. One regular swordsman, unfortunately. I'll tell you what, can we gain money from anybody? Is anybody willing to give us any sort of cash? Welcome. I throw open the doors. Unfortunately, it does not appear so. Greetings. You have my attention. And nobody's willing to broker peace either. I give you green. Especially not the people we need to broker peace. Be welcome. Meanwhile, all while the Hittite kingdom is, we are struggling to survive. All while the Assyrians are right at our doorstep. Like we share a border with them. That is not good. Man, I... And the thing is, they could take this city if we abandon it too. We might wanna though. We don't have the army to hold it and that force is going to engage us. We're gonna we're gonna pull a risky move and we're gonna abandon the settlement and recruit more mercenaries. I'm not gonna worry about trying to do that. And if we can, I will repair the main settlement building, but I doubt we're gonna doubt that's gonna happen. But everybody that is, uh, unfortunately, the end of my time today. I'm going to try and keep these under 30 minutes, but the dog needs attention. But we have taken Hayasa. We've burned it to the ground. Unfortunately, that's not uh, stopped their military prowess. And it appears the retribution is upon us. That They have a full stack waiting in, waiting in the next region. So we're going to have to deal with that in the next episode. Our king, all the way in Kishpua, is under siege from Troy. And Mycenae is right around the corner. Fingers crossed our allies can continue upholding their end of the bargain, dealing with Western Anatolia as we deal with the East. But all that is for the next episode, everybody. I do hope to see you there, and I hope you enjoyed today's episode. Like and subscribe as always, and check out the membership below if you did. I've been your host, Salty. Peace out.